Hey guys, it's me, your girl, Deuker here, and I'm back with another episode of AB Story. Off the jump, let me explain what you are reading on the screen. <laughs> so, Penny's ass came over and did something. I think she kind of was arguing with her, like, your music too loud or whatever. And then AB was like, for real, for real, I could care less. Kenneth comes out, AB's done with the situation, but before she can get in her house, they start slow dancing. So AB got the impulsive <laughs> idea that I want to piss her off. Went and like heated the moment kissed Kenneth. You know, we ain't never been, we was interested in Kenneth in a very beginning and then we, Kenneth was just messing with everybody. So we just decided, Kenneth for the streets, we ain't talking to Kenneth, we ain't doing nothing with Kenneth. And then of course, last episode, as y'all saw, she had, she's girlfriend of Glenn Hahn. So, I wasn't thinking. She wasn't thinking, we all wasn't thinking. I just was like, I'm tired of this penny pizzazz girl and I didn't even know y'all had a romance relationship. I'm about to go ruin it. So penny pizzazz is like, I'm her, you're cheating on me. Runs into her house. I think about it. And I was like, oh, dang. I mean, she not cheating, right? This ain't cheat. I mean, she cheated because she kissed him and that's cheating. I'm like, damn. I forgot she had a boyfriend because she wasn't even supposed to be having a boyfriend right now. So she like, well, it's too late now. So she go back in her house, send a new friend. I'll show y'all a new friend later because I want to do the party house today. We are overthrowing the party house today. <laughs> So she sent that from home. Kenneth comes in. They get the chatting. He starts flirting with her. And here we are. So that's how we start this episode. Of course. Let's go. So now Glenn and Kenneth cannot be in the same room. So we're just going to give him a little kiss on the cheek. And we're going to be like, well, I'm going to need you to leave. And we about to go out with the girls. Actually, we about to meet up with Party House. So, so I'm going to go travel, and then we're going to start a club gathering. And we are going to overthrow this joint something heavy. Okay? Catch y'all wherever we go. All right, so we made it to the Maishuno Factory, which is a nightclub in San Maishuno in the... I forget what district this is, but in some district. And guess who's already here? The one we plan on overthrowing, Jade Rose, Rosa. And I was thinking about doing one of my little montages with her overthrowing the club, but I kind of want to see how this plays out. Cause what if it doesn't even work? Okay. so. Everybody doesn't like Jade, a part of being the leader of Party House. And then I'm going to betray all of you and you all will become my enemies because I'm going to kick you all out of the Party House. Maybe not Marcus. As I should. Now let's go over here to her. We're going to go to Jade and say, Jade, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a little bit harder than that. I don't really care for Eva either. I'm going to kick her out too. And I'ma kick out Paolo. It took him forever to say she wasn't doing. Marcus Flex can probably stay. Oh, he said, you're not kicking me out. I'm that day. Yeah, you just kick everybody out. Um, I wanna kick her out. Where's Jade? We gonna add our girls. Ooh. So this is the break it down. guy's like in the way I can't see my other two girls girl you all right see see you up front you got to do better than that my love let's go boy I knew you was out the cut Ooh. 
That was cute. Okay, let's go get some drinks. Ah, I wish I caught that properly. Let's get them drinky drinks. Let's talky talky talk. Okay. So this has been fun. Sissy, why is she in the corner? Sissy's so pretty. Brynn is so pretty too. Look at Brynn. Just look at all the girlies. Brynn, cutie patootie. Ashley, cutie patootie. Look at her necklace. Child, she about to be a wild one, but not like Kaylin. Okay, and look at her with the class, with the paintings. Is that the birth of Venus? I don't think so. I don't know. Wild heart. Yes, girl. Okay, so I'm loving the vibes here. Oh, there go Marcus. Marcus. Oh, Marcus wanted to sit next to Cece. I like Cece and Chaylin together. I think we're going to kick out Paolo. I know this is harsh, but... I really think it's required. Bye! Hey, bye, dad, dad. Marcus can stay. I like Marcus. <gasps> Poor bitch things. Um, one second, girls. Let me um do some funds funds transfers. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's withdraw eight hundred dollars. Look, she got poor money management. She. <laughs> She's the new leader of this club. She has to show out. Okay, girls, let's get some drinks. And Marcus. And Marcus. Gin and tonics are classic. No, girl, let's get your favorite drink. That's fine. She's like, who's this? Girl, you are pregnant. Sackway. Girl, you are pregnant. What you pregnant with? Aww. Sackway said, I'm coming to the club regardless. In my heels. Pregnant mama said, I'm coming to the club. Regardless. This baby. Dance this baby. Yow. Like that one lady on TikTok. Yes, it's winter time and they're in their little short dresses. But they still cute though. Girl, get to moving. Go ahead, Dawn. Go ahead, CC. CC said, let me, let me step out a little bit. Go ahead, Ashley. Brent over here being shy. She don't like to be the center of attention, I guess. Yes, girl. She said, I need a smoke. And this is why they came out. Because she needed a little smoky smoke. She said, it's lit out here. It's lit. Okay, so we're going to end the club grabbing. So if they want to leave, they can leave. Come order your favorite drink. She's about to be like, I need another Long Island iced tea. Girlies, I'll catch you later. Bren was like, I'm going home. Thanks for inviting me. Poor Bren. Look at Bren. Poor Bren. She is lit. The other girls are still in there jamming. Okay, so we're going to come up here and we're going to talk to Chelan's brother. Okay. She's just out here testing the waters with everybody. You know what I'm saying? She's so pretty. Look at her. Why is she looking at him like that? Girl. What's that seeing you? Bang, 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 bang. You guys are so lit. It's Sunday. Who we 
you about to call over? Pause. Pause, pause, pause. Who is this? Wait a minute. Who is this? She said, hi. You're kind of cute. I'm taking you home with me. See you guys back at her place. Okay, so we made it back to her place. Let's just get with it. Oh, baby, love me like you did last night. I want to hold you till the morning comes. Oh, baby, love me like you did. Love me like you did. Oh, baby, kiss me till I see the light. Doesn't even make sense why I think about you. It was only one night, only that time, and it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this. Cause now I dream about you. I was probably too drunk to worry, but I've got the image of you on in circles in my mind right now. And it could fade away, but it probably won't.
Okay, so it is the next day or eight that morning and she's just doing some cleaning she forgot to put this away you guys saw how she spent all of sunday morning like four or five hours with colin that she met at the last minute at the nightclub when she overtook it when she overtook potty house she is so smitten with colin she is so smitten with Colin. I did not expect that. I just saw him randomly. But she is so smitten with him. And she just spent so much time with him yesterday. And it was just so cute. But yeah, she might get a third boyfriend. To be honest, she really likes Colin. But you know, she just she, she, she's just trying to live her little life. Other than her going and figuring out what she wants in her love life, party house, boom. She met a guy at the last minute, vibed heavily, okay? She vibed heavily. So he's definitely, and we haven't asked if he's single, so we don't know if he's single. He might, he, most likely he is. Single, we didn't ask if he got kids. That's something I can't confidently say because my sons be having kids with everybody but I don't know maybe we should invite him over today and ask to see if he wants to go out on a day date yeah let's do that we'll do that today so we're just gonna add him to our group all right so we made it to the museum we came to the museum that's next to the lighthouse in Burnleton Bay and he just wanted to show her this museum, even though she asked him on a date. He was like, um, I have a place in mind. And he brought her here. Very beautiful, very secluded, but beautiful nonetheless. So let's come inside together. Oh, she went that way. They both went that way. And we're gonna have them view some things together. And she's just kinda like, this is fun, I like this. I'm gonna have her, let's have her, I have her flirt with them. She always show up. Okay, so they're just, Talking. This is cute. Look at the snow. Chalen. So I ended up not going on a date with Gita or Soya. Sorry to hear it. Anywho, so they're just going to do cute things, view cute things. I think there's some more. Oh, look, it's Nadine. That's down here. They can view this one together. Let's stop viewing that one. What do you just ask? <gasps> Wait. <laughs> Why is her love life like this right now? Y'all not even together yet. Is he just, I think he's caught up in like, maybe he just really likes her. She don't even know if he's single. Oh my gosh. At this point, I feel like with AB's track record of relationships, She's just so enamored with him as well that I I honestly think that she would say yes because she's just caught up in the moment. You know, she lived winter, went to her favorite season. I think she would say yes. Whether or not it stays is a whole nother thing. I guess y'all can have y'all first kiss because you ain't even do that yet. That's crazy. This is crazy. Of course, she wouldn't say yes to every person that she meet for the first time, but. They're cute. They're cute, though. I'm going to end this episode right here because we found out before we even found out if he's seen someone. But from the relationship pregnancy thingy. It would have asked about closeness with. So I'm assuming we're good on that particular portion. But AB now needs to 
sit down and think about what she about to do because she got two boyfriends, a fiance, and her fiance got a baby. And we haven't even, you know, asked about his living arrangements. We just know he lives in Tartosa at, in a nice house. But anywho, it's been me, your girl, Yadiko here. And I will catch you guys on the next episode of AB Story. Bye, ducky.